unbelievably fresh, so fresh, so face, magnificently stupid, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez. She decamped from locked down New York City, where everybody is still masked, where they have vax mandates, despite the fact that the vaccinated are still passing the disease. She decamped to Florida. And she was down here in, in Death Santis's hellscape, right down here in my state, vacationing with her boyfriend. Isn't that, isn't that nice? Like, that, that's so nice. She left a locked down state that she helped create to come down here to my state, which she is constantly ripping on as a- Wait, Ben people. I thought he was in Tennessee. What was, since when is he in Florida now? No! No! Are you kidding me? What? Or what is Trump in here right now? Is he in the room with us? What the is he watching? Why would he do that? That's so sad, dude. That makes me so upset. That is devastating, dude. He 100% got COVID. Anyway, let's keep going. Hellscape, Death Santis, burning, flaming, Dante Seventh Circle, carnage-ridden landscape of, of horror. She decamped down here so that she could vacation in the sun. I don't understand. Like, are you not allowed to travel in the minds of conservatives? Conservatives are like, I love being a libertarian. Which also means that you should not be able to travel to red states. Does he not know that there's like Democrats living in Florida right now? Not to scare Ben too much. But there's also like millions of Democrats that live in Florida. As a matter of fact, like, you know, Democrats almost won. So. Also, it's not like... <laughs> Even if that was the case, it's not like AOC went to fucking Gainesville or Tallahassee. She went to fucking Miami, didn't she? Also, New York City on lockdown legitimately? No, New York City's not on fucking lockdown. The mayor literally just said, we need to open it up even further. I saw him in Florida last week. He lives in my grandma's community in Boca Raton. Oh, that's so awesome. What I would do to see, just to get a glimpse of that bad boy, that big, that thick bussy. Oh because she's a terrible person because <laughs> she decamped here. And then when people pointed out, hey, AOC, it's weird because uh, you're vacationing in the state that you keep talking about as being the worst, right? Ron DeSantis is going to get everybody killed and, and he doesn't care if people die. And yet here you are enjoying the sun and the fun with your boyfriend. She tweeted out in response, if Republicans are mad, they can't date me. They can just say that instead of projecting that. Dude, how hard do you think Ben Shapiro was when covering this story? Like, he was probably so hard it should be illegal, right? I'm talking diamond. Just bricked up, you know? Look at him doing the voice, too. Mm. They, they can just say that instead of projecting their sexual frustrations onto my boyfriend's feet, you creepy weirdos. So her response to, you are a flaming, ridiculous hypocrite for moving from... Bro, homie literally said... You're a hypocrite for going to the state of Florida. Okay. I just, I don't know what else to say. Like if, if you are a progressive person, like you're literally not allowed to travel to the state of Florida is not what I thought we were going to get to in the quote unquote discourse, but we are literally there. Okay. Like, bro, I don't know if you know this, but the weather is nice, dude. Okay. That's kind of. You live there, so you should know this, but the weather is kind of nice this time around in Florida, unlike many other places. So that's the reason. Trump's statement. In light of the total bias and dishonesty of the January 6th unselect committee of Democrats, two failed Republicans, and the fake news media, I'm canceling. Oh, dude, what the fuck? This is the worst fucking thing that that dumbass commission could have ever done, okay? That committee. That, this actually upsets me, okay? Fuck the Democratic Party, dude. They're cucking our content. Oh, no. Like, we gotta fucking make sure that, like, every cop gets $100,000 for the fucking trauma that they endured when they were opening the doors for every fucking hog uh, running into the, to the Capitol, dude. Oh, no. Oh no, like, like that's what the committee's doing. It's just like, oh no, we need to investigate how scared and sad the 80 police officers have quit. This is fucked up, dude. Life is horrible, okay? It's just an endless sequence of L after L 
at least we got a little bit of content here, okay? At least we got a little bit of fucking content here, and the Democrats have to cuck that too. Also, Trump, shame on you. You're a fucking coward for getting cucked by the Dems, okay? What a, what a bitch. <sighs> AOC. From your lockdown state down here to vacation. Well, constantly mewling that Republicans are killing everyone. And yet you're here, I noticed. You don't seem that afraid, I noticed. It seems like in your personal life, when you're not parking your Tesla illegally at the Whole Foods, you're decamping to... Oh my God, he's still talking about the fucking Tesla. The Tesla parking scandal, dude. When we noticed that, her response is, it's just because you want to have sex with me. Well, maybe it's because you're a moron. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's because you're a stupid. Maybe it's because you're a giant stupido. Maybe it's because you have the brain... Oh my God. Ben. Yahweh's watching, motherfucker. What do you mean? You're using some... You're using no-no words right now, dude. Ben's going in, dude. He is so horned up. Holy fuck. He said stupido. He's so bricked up. There's no power up there, okay? He... <laughs> He's so bricked up, all the blood is down there. None up here. He's just losing it, dude. Power of, like, the little oven lights in the easy-bake ovens that I get my daughter. Like Calling her a stupido is racist? Man, who gives a fuck? That one is so stupid that it's like... Like, really? That's, that's where you're harping on, dude? He sounds like a fucking baby. Like, he sounds like a child, okay? If you're getting mad at that, at that point, it's like, uh, 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 you know. When you reach a certain point, I've said this before, when you reach a certain point of stupidity, it's like, it, it becomes funnier because, you know, he's trying to be racist probably in his mind, but like, it was a swing and a miss. You know what I mean? Because that's the worst thing that could come out of your mouth is that a stupido was the, you know, he got so angry that like, he was trying to be as like vitriolic as possible. And he said, es stupido. If you're going to get mad at that, if you're going to get caught up on that, I don't know what to tell you. Okay. That's hilarious, dog. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. He's learning Spanish to impress her. <laughs> exactly. Like, maybe it's because you are one of the dumbest people alive. That's why we are pointing this out. And then she tweeted out, it's starting to get old, ignoring the very obvious strange. Bro, he, uh, this is like, this is, he is impossibly hard, okay? This is weird to watch. It's like he's he's like foaming out of the mouth like <laughs> stupid though. <laughs> Yo! Strange sexual frustrations that underpin the Republican fixation on me, women and LGBT plus people in general. Is she gay now? I I missed that part. These people clearly need therapy. Won't do it and use power is she gay now? That means I will never see the feet pics. Are you saying I don't have a chance? Politics <laughs> is their outlet instead. It's really weird. No, what's really weird is that we point out that you are a ridiculous human being. And your first response is, well, that's just because you want to screw me. If somebody has a problem here. Oh, oh my God. Yo. Bro, my man had an aneurysm, dude. Look at that. He literally had like a, he had a fucking minor aneurysm. Look at this. Ridiculous human being. And your first response is, well, that's just because you want to screw me. Me. If somebody has a. If somebody. <laughs> if somebody Stop. He's like, uh, oh, oh, God. What is going on, dude? Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> oh, no, dude. What the fuck? He, yeah, that's his O face. Oh, no. Somebody has a problem here, lady. I have a feeling it's you. By the way, she is she she was having lots of fun over the over the week, right? She she I'm not a stalker, by the way. She was having lots of fun though. Especially weird 
that you and your boyfriend and I could do better than him. I could be better than him. We're having fun drinking coffee at the coffee shop. Really fucked up. She camped here. She was um, apparently, uh, she was called up on stage at a uh, drag queen bar, at a drag bar in Florida. You know, unmasked with a bunch of people in close proximity with one another. You know, li living afraid as we we're supposed to. Taking all precautions as necessary. Bro, this is like, I mean, this is stalking. <laughs> it's awesome. Also, this is exactly what I was talking about. Okay? This is exactly what I was talking about. Which is that, like, nobody gives a shit. So why are you freaking the fuck over the lockdown? Okay? No one. If you're outdoors, even if you are in close proximity with others, nobody wears a mask. Okay? No one. You're also... In fucking Florida, where no one ever wears a mask, no one gives a shit, okay? And even in New York, if she was in a, a similar situation, she would not be wearing a mask because she's outdoors or the cheat code, probably drinking a beverage, okay? Because that's the cheat code. It's like, everybody knows COVID doesn't spread when you magically start drinking at your table <laughs> or at a bar in general. I've never seen... I've never been inside of a bar where people are still fucking wearing masks inside the bar. That's not a thing. There she is. Oh, smiling. Oh, there we are. Oh. Okay, to be fair, obviously you can't deflect away from all criticisms as a congressional representative by saying, like, you're just horny and you want to fuck me. But this is pathological, dog. You sound like a serial killer. You're definitely showing a range of emotions that are, are you know, cons consistent with uh, some kind of pathological obsession here. Holy fuck, dude. Oh, <laughs> that's what he did. Oh. There she is. Oh, smiling. Oh. Smiling. Oh, there we are. Oh, oh smiling. Oh, there we are. Oh. Smiling. Oh, there we are. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Yo! Oh my God, dude. Do not come. Ben Shapiro, do not come. Ben Shapiro said, hypothetically, I'm going to come. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Mm, just... Man, the, these folks, these folks. Okay, so. What? Man, the, these folks. Mm, just. Man. <laughs> this is a man that never is at a loss for words, okay? He can't shut the fuck up, as a matter of fact. But this is the one video where he's just like, mm. he's just grunting. He's doing the O face. He had an aneurysm earlier on the broadcast. Like, this is... Woo, he's down bad, bro. And the, these folks, these folks. Okay, so, I, I will say this. Uh, the, the, the media's treatment of this is, is truly astonishing. So they don't ask why Joe Biden is headed off to Delaware. They don't care. Right? He's going to Delaware. It's fine. It's fine. The man needs his nap, and he needs his insure, and he needs his matlock. And it's Christmas break, so why the hell not? And they don't care that AOC is decamping down to Florida to enjoy vacation in the land of sun and fun that she decries as, once again, a landscape of, of death. They don't care about any of that. What they care about is where's Ron DeSantis? Literally the day after Joe Biden just absconded. Yeah, I wonder why they would care about that. I wonder why people would care about where Ron DeSantis is, though. Like, for real. And for the record, like, yeah, Joe Biden going on fucking vacation with, like, one million COVID cases. Bad look, okay? But the reality is, what the fuck's Joe Biden going to do, bro? He, he, what is he going to do? Wet his diapers again? Is that what he's going to do? Half the time, he's literally in a fucking uh, a cryostatic uh, chamber anyway. He's in a cryo chamber somewhere. What's he going to do? You think Joe Biden does shit, bro? He's literally a fucking figurehead. He's a puppet. He's half dead. They, they decided, you know, where is Ron DeSantis? And they started trending on Twitter. Where is Ron DeSantis? Where is Ron DeSantis? Where is Ron DeSantis? Where is Ron? Well, it turns out that where was Ron DeSantis? It's oh, this is the big own. His wife has cancer. It turns out that um, Ron DeSantis was taking care of his wife who's having cancer treatments. So wait, why didn't he just say that? 
Like, why did he, why did he just like hide that? And also how bad was the cancer that he straight up took his fucking cancer ridden wife. His wife is just like fucking dying of cancer. Right? I mean, come on sympathy guys, literally at a concert massless. So it can't be that bad, bro. If she, if, if they went out to a fucking cancer, uh, to a cancer, to a con, ah, to a concert where she's massless at the concert and fucking talking with cancer. Like if you, if AOC was massless running around at the, at the drag race bar or whatever, while she was also, while she also had cancer, like that'd be a little ridiculous. You know what I mean? It'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? So that's nice. Apparently he took his wife to cancer treatments over Christmas break. And meanwhile, AOC was tweeting out about Ron DeSantis. She tweeted, Hasn't Governor DeSantis been inexplicably missing for like two weeks? If he's around, I'd be happy to say hello. His social media team seems to have been posting old photos for weeks. In the meantime, perhaps I could help with local organizing. Folks are quite receptive here. Smiley face. Yeah, come down here and try to run AOC. Let's see how that Please come down here and try to run all over my body with your, with your size seven and a half feet. <laughs> come on. Please, AOC. Yeah, you better run here. That would be... Uh, hypothetically, that'd be terrible. Hmm. That goes for you. Really, really. Pick a district. Anytime. Anytime. Or, alternatively, just stay the hell out of my state. Because you don't belong... What do you mean, my state? You grew up in fucking Beverly Hills, dog. Your father is a violinist, okay? You literally grew up in California your entire fucking life. What do you mean, my state? He used to make it seem like he moved to Tennessee, but apparently he moved to Florida. The business is now run out of Tennessee. That's so funny, dude. He's like, <laughs> Florida is my state. It's like, dude, you can't say that, okay? First of all, gross, okay? Why the fuck are you taking ownership of Florida? Even motherfuckers from Florida don't take ownership of Florida, okay? <laughs> but like, you definitely can't take over uh, ownership of Florida. AOC's mom has been living in Florida for longer than Ben Shapiro, okay? Technically, AOC has more of a connection with the state of Florida by way of his mother living there than Ben Shapiro does. On here. Seriously, go away. I have more of a connection with the state of Florida, which I, of course, will deny always, than Ben Shapiro does. I've lived in the state of Florida for longer than Ben Shapiro has thus far, okay? You understand that? First place I landed in the United States of America. Florida. Away. Just go away. It's a free country. You're allowed to be here. I'm not saying we should legally bar you from entering the state. I'm saying that you're that if you are going to crap all over the state where I live and then come here for vacation and then rip on the governor who has done all the things that you did not want to do, you should maybe just stay home. Maybe Bro, Ron DeSantis is not responsible for the fucking weather, okay? Like, unless he has a weather machine or some shit. People don't go to Florida because, like, Ron DeSantis' policies are sick. They go to Florida because the weather is nice, okay? Kind of the whole thing. You can't, like, take ownership over uh, the fucking nice weather, which is the reason why people are going there, and say, it's because Ron DeSantis is, uh, you know, kept the state open. Maybe you should just go home, you jackass. Maybe that. But honestly, this is how I'm feeling about... about about all of this stuff lately. The reason I'm feeling this is because there are newfound discoveries happening each and every day. Why does he think the only reason people go to Florida is the government, Lamau? Yeah, that's so stupid. I've literally never went to a state because of the governor, dude. Like, I've never been like, oh, man. <laughs> Can't wait to go to New York, dude. Hang out in, the, hang out in a state with a, with a liberal governor, finally. Yeah, all these people that are coming to California for vacation are coming because, you know, gruesome Gavin Newsom, baby. Hey, from the left, about things that all of us, those of us who've been listening to the show, those of us who've been following the data, hey, there are many things that we have been saying for well over a year, and some things we've been saying for a couple of months since Omicron, that you guys have been ignoring. And yet suddenly it has dawned upon you, like a ray of light from the heavens. The clouds opened, and, oh, suddenly the voice broke forth, the voice not of God, but God is a woman. Uh, oh, Ariana Grande's voice came down from the heavens and suddenly you were bestowed with vast wisdom with regard to COVID that some of us have been saying by looking at the data for the last several months. How's this?